Alright, today we are demonstrating how a soda bottle can act like a volcanic eruption. So, comparing a magma chamber in a volcano to a soda bottle, what you have is you have an enclosed space filled with magma and various gases capped off by a cap, probably from a previous volcanic eruption. And compared to a soda bottle, we have a kind of closed space filled with soda and carbon dioxide and capped by a cap. And what happens during a volcanic eruption, or just prior to one, is that the gas content within the magma chamber actually builds up, builds up the pressure within the chamber to a point when an earthquake or some other event will crack the cap, all the pressure will be released at once and gas that's mixed into the magma will actually push that magma out of the volcano. Whereas in a soda bottle, when you open up a soda bottle that's built under pressure with carbon dioxide, what you'll get is that the gas within the, carbon, within the soda will actually push the soda out of the cap. So to demonstrate, we want to get a nice shaken up bottle of soda. I recommend when you puncture the cap that to do similar to a volcanic eruption that you want to actually puncture straight into the top of the cap. You don't want to open the cap because opening the cap will spray out the soda sideways. And also you don't want to do like the Mentos experiment by putting Mentos into the soda because that's things into the magma chamber, which is not what you have here. You just have a fluid with gas under pressure and we're releasing the pressure. So, I recommend you get this nice and mixed up. Usually while I'm giving my lecture, I'll be shaking this the entire time. Nice. Volatile. And what you want to do is push the screwdriver straight into the cap. And we have a volcanic eruption.